It's 12 months since Alison Gilchrist was asked by the Archbishop of York to bring religion to the people of an East Hull housing estate. Her appointment was prompted by fears that the Church of England is losing touch with ordinary families. Fears that figures seem to support with just 15% of the population nationally going to church at least once a month. Hull itself has one of the lowest attendances in the country. In the same survey, more than one in three people in Yorkshire and the Humber said they'd never been to church and they never intend to. Well, Lindsay Smith has been to find out whether the mission in East Hull has been successful. 12.15, six days a week, and the bells at St Hilda's signal it's time to meet. Just four people attended this church when the services were formal. In the years since Alison Gilchrist arrived, there were barely enough seats. We see church not just as about what happens on a Sunday service. We do the things that you do for church. We share a meal, which is what communion is on a Sunday. We pray. We sometimes sing, but not all that often. Um, and we read God's word. So we do, we do church six days a week here now, which has made a huge difference to this community. Gone are the days when churches were packed with Sunday worshippers whilst their children filed into Sunday school. Many of today's congregation admit they'd never dream of wearing their Sunday best for a formal service. But Alison's laid-back approach suits them. I was an alcoholic before I came here and it's helped us stop it and carry on from what I'm doing. I come every day. Now I really like it. Gets me out and I learn things. It's lovely, the friendships that have been built and the relationships between everybody. It's amazing. What we need to do is we need to speak the language of the area, so we listened to this community before we started. Alison soon realised that the language of rugby league is one which East Hollers understand. She became the chaplain at Hulkingston Rovers, the first female chaplain to a rugby league club in the world. It's attracted attention from songs of praise who were soon to feature her and provided a great way in with the community. This last time I went to the match, as I went up on the terrace, somebody shouted out, Oh, you've been praying, Vicar? And we won, so at the end I said, Was that enough prayers? Alison's work is not done. She wants to boost the congregation further. But just how difficult will that be on an estate where many have bigger concerns? Could anything persuade you to go to church now? No. Not really. Sorry. No. <laughs> I'm just not a religious person. You can't win them all. But Alison believes her experience can help other churches overcome apathy. Her reports to Archbishop Sentamu could now influence practice across the diocese. Lindsay Smith, BBC Look North, Hull.